This plan isn't going to work, and it's a misuse of resources. It's Doug, not how the FBI no, does not. it, and it frankly isn't how the LAPD right, they, should do they, it. They, they, some Baloney. Muslims are obviously no, you're, you're upset wrong, with Mike. it, and, and the ACLU No, I'm not wrong. wrong. But, Doug. Indeed, you Doug. are wrong. But hold on, Mike. No, I'm not wrong, Mike, hold Doug. on, Mike. But, but, Doug, hold on one second. How do you uh, expect <laughs> police to infiltrate um, hotbeds of extremism Informants, if they <laughs> where there are obvious problems in the community? Fighter, and if you don't think that the feds have targeted hotbeds of extremism in the United States, on a regular basis, I'm pleased you're they kidding have. yourself. I'm pleased they well, have, that's and that's doing. what Bill Bratton well, sure. needs to do. That's what, that's what he's he is doing. not doing. No, it's too broad a brush. <laughs> the data doesn't exist, and it's just an ill-formed <laughs> plan. But, but, but I'm still, I'm still confused. So, sure. so the problem is, is that the LAPD police chief doesn't know where the Muslim neighborhoods the, the, are. Allison, I mean, why the statistical does he even have to data. I may not be a policeman. I am a statistician, and as a statistician, <laughs> you can't find Muslims using the census data. Many of the so-called Muslims that come up are Christians or Jews. You're basically painting a broad brush. This You're going to create a backlash. It's not going to work. It's not practical. We all want to fight what terrorism. Backlash? It's okay. just not going to be productive. A few seconds, Mike. Last uh, word. I mean, here we go again with the apologists for terrorists. No, I mean, not what are you guys on the left? Yes, you are. You're, you're talk, you, listen, That's excuse me. I didn't interrupt. Doug, solve Doug, I didn't, right, Doug guys. I didn't interrupt you, sir. I didn't interrupt you. Sorry. Now, let me make my point. Much. Mike, you've made your point, and I'm, I'm sorry, but we do have to go because we're up against a hard break here, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Thanks, Doug. We'll be right back. Because Fox is where the news is. This program is brought to you by Honda. Committed to safety for everyone. Trade up, NASDAQ. <laughs> Top headlines. Coalition troops raid suspected bomb-making compounds in southern Afghanistan. Secretary of State Rice says a recent Senate measure does not give the president the green light to attack Iran. The resolution urged the State Department to label Iran's Revolutionary Guard a terror organization. Rice says the president remains committed to diplomacy. And the hangout for the Sopranos crew has bitten the dust. Crews tore down that building that housed the fictional pork store uh, Satriali's it will be replaced by condos called, what else, The Soprano. And now... Is the tide turning in Iraq? Well, the country's Prime Minister, Nouri al-Maliki, announcing this weekend that car bombings and other terror attacks are down 70% in Baghdad. Former Secretary of Defense William Cohen is the author of Dragonfly, a new political thriller. It's a novel, and the Secretary joins us live from our D.C. Bureau. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning to you. It's great to have you on this Veterans Day. So, whatever happened... Do you have defense? You're a senator and congressman. We thank you for joining us live today. Pleasure to be with you. Thank you. All right. Allison?